What in the holy heck's happened to the Pac-12, man? And you could say that about all major sports for sure. But, I mean, yeah. what in the world is going on with the Pac-12? You know, it's I, I, I caution people against sort of cause and effect. Um, and, and in the case of the Pac-12, you have a little bit of a perfect storm. I think one thing that happened is that a flagship program really these days is Arizona. Um, and they got hit by this uh, FBI scandal, which – you know, really crush their recruiting for, for one cycle. Now, they have a great class coming in next year. So this idea that Sean Miller's being run out of town is not quite uh, accurate. Um, and then you also had US, UCLA having a really bad year. So, so t- just the fact that those two teams alone um, are experiencing down cycles. And, of course, and USC was also caught up in the FBI scandal, but mm. you know their situation was more older players graduating. So um, it, to me, it's just that these things go in cycles. I mean, if you go, if you go over the years, you've had um, – I think every conference has pretty much gone through this where you have one year, oh, my God, like they're the best and everyone's getting in. And then, you know, five years later, it's it's as bad as they've ever been. The Pac-12 has bad luck in terms of what's going on with football and, and a lot of other things. And, you know, they, they are always kind of going to be at a disadvantage in terms of the television exposure. And the Pac-12 work has had a lot of challenges um, but in, in, in a different time zone. So, um, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, Hold the bake sale for them for too long. I think right. they're at, at a low low ebb right now, and I think that pretty soon they'll be on an upward cycle, and everybody will talk about, hey, the Pac-12 is back. Yeah, I mean, the Pacific time zone teams are Gonzaga up there in eastern Washington and Nevada. I mean, that that's well, it pretty much. You know you, you know what? Let me, let me say this. There's Mark Hugh always gets mad at me when I call Gonzaga a mid-major. Um, they are certainly not a mid-major in terms of how they operate and what they do and, and how they win, but – I think we just take Gonzaga for granted. I, I mean it as a compliment. I mean, look what they've done. They were in the national championship game, one possession away from winning the whole thing two years ago. And they've lost everybody pretty much on that team. The guys who are on that team were role players, now starters, but they bring in every – I mean, this is Gonzaga. They're in the West Coast Conference in the middle of Spokane, Washington. And, and they're going to be a one or a two seed in, and a favorite to win it all again. It's incredible – with that university, that community, and of course with that coach at Duck. All right, so give me your prediction on the one seeds, Seth, before I let you go off to New York to do the show. Well, I, I would say at the your starting point is you're going to have two ACC teams at minimum. Not out of the question, there could end up being three ACC teams, but certainly between Virginia, North Carolina, and Duke, two of those three will be there. I think Kentucky or Tennessee, if they win the SEC tournament, will lock up another one seed. The fourth spot right now, I would give to Gonzaga, but I think the inside track belongs to Michigan State, the way they finished the year. And, again, they had injury issues or getting a guy back. If they win the Big Ten tournament, they've got more, what we say, quadrant one wins than any team in the country. If they win the Big Ten tournament, they won the Big Ten break of the season, they suffered some losses with injuries, getting healthy, I think they end up on the one line. In which case, Gonzaga would be your number your overall top two seed. But either way, they're going to be sent out west. So for Gonzaga, it's not a huge difference between that one and the two. It's just playing a 16 versus a 15 in the first round. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.